yeah, we are the glorious nation of Rome, the Republic of Rome, but of course we have our eyes set on bigger things. We want to go from a republic to an empire and conquer the world, or at least uh, some parts of it. So we are fighting a war against three nations right now. We are at war with uh, Zenona, we are at war with Boy, and we are at war uh, with... Uh, I call, yes, let's call him Genoa. It's kind of a Genoa. And right now we see a huge enemy army marching down while we are trying to, to siege down fortresses. And uh, we are definitely going to take some losses here. Oh, look at this stack. It's a real death stack. It's, uh, it's a monster. It's a big, big, terrifying monster. Let's see. Are they going to join this war? Or, yeah, it looks like they are. I was thinking maybe they're going to go for our army over there. But it looks like they are here to cry, um, cry here to make us cry. But that is the siege of Sena. So we are going in the right direction. And now, hopefully, we can leave all the sieging to our vassals. Let's send the boats. Um, I think we're oh, not over there, but we're going to send them around to help with this siege. Because Boy doesn't have any fortresses, and this one is not connected to, uh, to the water. But yeah, this death stack is um, terrifying. It's uh, it's bad news basically. That that that's the best way I can describe uh, describe it um, as bad news. But um, I try to leave my armies out of this as much as I can. Have the uh, vassals uh, play with them, but we we uh, actually we probably should get over there just to try to. This army is probably not enough to scare them away. Uh, is there any? leader we would, would like to assign to them kind of not this for now but let's just move them uh, up here we just want to scare them off a bit so they don't start sieging down our cities so if you can send two units uh, two armies against them hopefully it will be enough to have them fall back don't pro won't it won't be until this uh, siege is uh, done i think until the vassal swarm starts rolling in it would be good if we could, could get them to, to just fall back. We're going to send these guys up just like in a preemptive, trying to, to scare them away. Fashion. We want to look uh, scary. So let's see. We have one, two, three. Uh, yeah. We are only improving relationships with two of them. So these guys. Now we could um, start integration. Fantastic. 82, so not too many years before it's going to be done. And now we only have uh, these guys left. We are improving relations with them. And uh, soon we're going to be able to start integrating them too. To uh, combine our nation. It's uh, a bit sad losing the Vassal Swarm. They have, I mean, sometimes they've been very frustrating and stupid. But sometimes they've been very good to us, so... I don't want to be too harsh uh, to them. But yeah, this was, I th hope we can scare them away. Let's just move up here to, to look scary. I don't want to fight. I have no intention to fight. I just want to scare them away. Have them fall back. Why are you moving in there? You're three guys against 22. I mean, I admire that your boldness. That's a very bold move, but also a very stupid one. That's uh, like impossible for you to win. We're just gonna stand there, look big and strong and scary. Will will that make you run? Or do are we going to go in here? I really don't want to go in here. But I don't want this. Oh, they are coming here. What's the planes? Are you actually gonna go through with this? Are are you really really? Are you sure? It looks like oh, no, there they stopped. So uh, we uh, actually, if they are moving away, maybe we want to catch the smaller army by themselves. Let's wait here for a little while, see if they joins. Because I think if we could attack them with these guys out, we should. Yes, they are still walking. Perfect. And we could uh, th this like battles like this we want to do when they split up. No. I was certain that it was... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I thought that we were going to be able to catch them uh, without, uh, well, basically not being here. 
We have an 11 to their 9, so we are at least very strong a leader. But I really thought that they were going to be able to walk out. So now, now I'm doing everything I didn't want to do with my manpower, and it's... Um, it's embarrassing, but we have an eye for aesthetics. Procleus Flavius. It's always a Flavius that costs us a lot of money. It's, um has been uh, showing great promise in his uh, civic duties and has become uh, renowned as quite an artisan. He um, recently completed a marvelous design for a new granary. We could erect this masterpiece, blah, blah, blah. So we... Uh, could get a granary, or we could get a money, and he gets money. Now, the question: Where is the granary? Um, Pistorium. Was Pistorium right? Yes. We could get a granary over here, but there's zero slaves here. Zero slaves. And yes, they give some population growth, it's always nice, but it also gives slave happiness. So I think we're actually going to take the money, because uh, without any slaves, we're just not getting that much from it. Uniform regulations. Um, and usually, blah, 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 we want uh, formal uniform uh, regulations for all the servant under him. So he will get, th this sounds like a good trait, discipline, let's see. Oh, this is a great trait. Look at this trait. This is fantastic. He's our commander. And he just got plus one marshal. Now it's 12. And it also got 5% extra discipline as a commander. So he was great. He was our best uh, commander before. And the game thought, well, it's not great enough. Let's make him even grander. So yes, please. And now this battle. Oh, actually, maybe it wasn't too bad that we went into this battle. Because... We uh, only lost 1,800, well, they lost almost 7,000. So it was a huge blow to them, like really huge. Now we probably just want to go get up here and, uh, and uh, sort of block them out. And uh, we are going to do this, that with, uh, can, can we even get them selected? We probably want to go here to the mountains. And then we want to send these guys around here as backup in case they roll in. Because if we are just standing here in the mountains, no way they're going to attack us. We're going to come with a huge penalty if they do. And hopefully this siege will be done soon. We have got the navy over here too to help with uh, the blockade. So that should speed up uh, that siege. Yeah, I feel like everything is going in uh, our direction right now. And um, the trade route has disappeared. So we are no longer getting grain and uh, well <laughs> the thing is everybody hates us because of our aggressive expansion so uh, there wasn't many uh, trades we were actually able to take I want to take us something that gives us a surplus so uh, fish would give us a surplus in capital wine would give us a surplus olives we already have and uh, vegetables, we don't have any vegetables. That's kind of it. All of this would be pretty nice because we have a lot of slaves in the capital because we get a lot of slaves from... Uh, wait, wait, actually it said we have it. No, we already have the olive uh, one. I um, Yeah, I was confused. There was the wine I was one, uh, going to look for. And that one is not as important because I'm actually promoting freemans to uh, to uh, citizens in my capital to get some extra research. So we should probably we could just go for the fish for national. I mean we're not getting fancy things here. Everybody hates us, so uh, I guess we just go for for. Uh, I mean, merchant maintaining us is not bad. It's completely okay. And uh, but this is the happiness for all freemans in the whole nation. I think we need a lot of happiness considering that we are going to be conquering a lot of land. Both of them are very good, but uh, we don't have any financial problems right now. I think we should just go for for uh, happiness and growth uh, for now. We are getting six. Uh, if if we trade both of these trades is uh, with our own provinces, 
But if you trade with this one, we get 0 0.61 each month. And then from this one, we get 0 0.6 only. So we actually get more from trading this one. Yeah, uh, I guess. So let's uh, get uh, back to the war then. And I need to grab a drink. Cheers, guys. Ah. So now can we get to the mountains? I would like to get to the mountains. I uh, would look, like to get these guys over as backups on the, on the east flank. This siege has been going on for such a long time. I'm glad it's, uh, it's the Mercs doing the siege and not me. But this one's going on for a long time too. They started this siege while we were doing that siege. So see a smaller battle here. We should probably just for safety go down and help. I think we should be fine. Yeah, we are really being fine here. We're going to get back to the mountains. Just to block uh, block them off. On the day they want to come back. That was the easy win. And then we captured. Decent guy. He's depressed. No family. Kind of no money. I don't think anybody will would pay ransom for him. Because he don't have any money and no family or anything. And a trade deal. Thank you for your money. Blockaded ports. Oh my god. Two units. It's like they just want to annoy us. By giving us uh, that message. And it is. It is really annoying. It's like they, they are spitting a bit in our face or something. And these guys are running in actually. I just want to stay here in the in the mountains to blockade everything until these sieges are done. And then we're going to have the vassals roll in. Vassals is already running in. They're doing a pretty good job, I hope, maybe. And that's finally the siege of Genoa. So we should be able to piece them out now. Uh, that's Genoa. I call them that. I know it's wrong. All your land belongs to us. All your money belongs to us. Free aggressive expansion. Um, but we're okay. And uh, now, of course, we need to think about um, people. But currently, with uh, with all these um, scorned families and with aggressive expansion, this is a very little. I'm not even sure if it's going to be worth it. But we actually going to take the aggressive expansion. I think we're going to do this from all these trees. So the new land is uh, wait. Oh yeah, this part is the right culture. Uh yeah, it's, this part is not the right culture. They are the right religion too. So. This one should be pretty easy. Yeah, look at this. They are, they are happy-ish from, uh, from the start. Let's let's see the pops here. I mean, right now, from the aggressive expansion, they're not great. But I think this should increase quickly. I hope shouldn't be too much of a problem. I mean, we kind of don't have any unrest at all. I guess that's good news. And this seed should be done really soon. Wait, are you? Oh, you are. No, you're not fighting with these guys. I thought. Oh, this huge army. Like, are they attacking boy? They are not attacking boy. They are doing nothing. Let's uh, send in the mercs just for, for fun. You can have them uh, uh, basically kill off themselves. We're getting quite a bit of uh, attrition here, though, standing in the mountains. I think we... Um, where could we move back? Let's move back here and have the Mercs stand there instead. Yeah, we are. We are. I've been losing some manpower again. Means I'm doing a sloppy job here. That's the siege. Fantastic. Now we just need Boyd to fall, and then we are ready for a peace deal. But for that to happen, of course, we're going to have to take uh, a fortress. Let's move in here, just see if we can... Because if they attack here, we want to uh, probably join in. To uh, make sure we win this one. And it's nothing we can do. They're sitting down with 20 units. I wonder where they are getting all that manpower from. 
and we have a white piece but it's low we are going to be able to see all this down without too much problem for that happens let's go for some more happiness in this uh it's just a primal culture it's always good to have because uh, happiness is good for many reasons but uh it actually increases uh, production by a lot Happy citizens produce much more than others. So we're going to go home with the Navy uh, to uh, a port. And we're actually going to build more navies because really soon we are planning for a war versus Carthage. And, and I said it before, but I'm expecting them to have somewhere between 60 and 100 uh, boats. So we need to have a um, decent chunk of boats for, for uh, when that happens. So now this one is done. Oh, I really like all these troop uh, movements here make me think that they are going for what we want. Now this is a suicide mission, but they only have a level three, a three martial skill leader and a crappy army. So, and this has mercs. So maybe we're actually going to win this one. Cause I thought like, oh, that, then a lot of other guys showed up. Yeah, this is what I thought. I want the, these guys to join in. To basically just uh, go butchering. But uh, it will be tough and it will be bloody. So, more or less a suicide mission. You guys are moving the right, uh, the right, the wrong direction. I, hope, I was thinking like all these guys would join in and we would be able to take it anyways. We have the discipline, that's the only thing. We have the heaviest versus the light ones. They have a lot of carriots though. But uh, that's only good. A slight bit against our cavalry. And now these guys is moving in the right direction, joining in. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm offering my mercs for you guys. I uh, had the higher expectations from you. I, I did this for you to show that I can off also offer something. I mean, the money I hired the, the mercs from is real. They, they are real. And uh, soon, maybe, boy, it won't be anymore. But we need to get this siege done first. We need to win this battle. And it's going to be two more provinces to siege down. I'm not sure where they're going to run now. Maybe we could go for a stack wipe, but this is so tough. So where are you going now? You're going over here. Can we follow you? No, we can't follow you. So uh, I guess we're just going to stay here, wait until you come. Oh, they are coming back ASAP. They, they are coming back without morale. This should be a slaughter. This should be uh, fantastic. Yes. No, maybe not. Maybe that wasn't them. I'm not sure if we, uh, who that was. And also, I'm trying to move wherever we see this sign. Go for the slaughter. See if you can stack wipe them. Would be fantastic. I mean, <laughs> our <laughs> that that is not the stack wipe. Where where are you going? Are you going here? Are you going here? You are going to uh, Grexium. And that is this one. We're probably going to continue here where we can't reach because of the fortress. No, we are getting them. Fantastic. And still no stack wipe. What the heck? And now I don't think we can follow. Yeah, we can actually follow them. And they are going to... Uh... Aurelia, where is... Wait, where is that? Am I blind? Where is that place? Let's just go here and see the town then, because I'm confused. Calling in favors, Lucius Postumus Malgus has approached Valenius Fabius uh, Rolalius in private, reminding him of a past favors done for us, uh, the mercantile faction. We knew this day might come, and it will appear that Lucius is quite insistent that we repay his debt we own him. Yeah, we can give them influence, we could have a little loyalty, we could lose stability, so... Uh, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be terrible if they uh, they uh, got the lead for for some time. Because of course, I'm a military guy. When his time time term is over, it's going to be like two terms or something like that before another military can, guy can get in. And I mean, most of these guys have really bad skills right now, so uh, I'm okay with that one. They can have some influence. I don't mind too much if uh, they would uh, actually 
that's finally the stack wipe we captured somebody a really old guy with uh yeah he's depressed e depressed epileptic he's brave at least and he kind of don't have any money but uh we have the siege now so as soon as these provinces is siege down we are going to get rid of uh counter spending because uh they're just moving, but we can wait. Let's wait. No, this one should be sieged down by the fort anyway. So that's the mercs. Let's get the siege and then we're going to peace out. Take uh, all that sweet, sweet land. That's the final blow. Boy, I'm sorry, boy. I know Oof, that's some hefty aggressive expansion. What? Uh, maybe it's because uh yeah we, we didn't have any claims against them we had claims against the other guys well we didn't have a claim versus boy but uh i mean you know what you say aggressive expansion is uh is only a number it's only a wait yeah yeah aggressive expansion is only a number 29 yeah we all keep on taking the aggressive expansion and then the final one these provinces here we had claims being a lot less uh at least on one of them well a decent chunk but uh we we, we had the claim the so Senoia senate it's not only an elite, but we're going to take the aggressive expansion again. We're going to pause the game. We're going to take a look at our glorious empire. Soon, most of Italy is ours, and we're going to continue until it's our. I'm probably going to do work, do something against this bad research ratio, maybe between episodes. But for now, it's time for a break. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.